I bet you didn't know one woman got so angry at a PTA meeting that she tried to ruin another woman's life. PTA President Kelly Peters. She was doing her usual PTA parent kind of thing and supervising some kids as they were playing tennis. That's when Jill Easter showed up to pick up her son. Easter asked Peters, hey, why isn't my son waiting for me? And Peters responded, oh, he's probably just a little slow to line up. Jill Peters then audibly yelled, I will get you, and stormed off with her son. From that moment on, Jill Easter made it her mission to ruin Kelly Peters' life. Jill wrote a very strong worded letter to the PTA, demanding that Kelly be fired. She claimed that Kelly had left her son unsupervised, which caused extreme panic attacks. Obviously, there was no evidence of this, and they ignored her complaint. When that didn't work, Jill took it a step further. Jill filed a straight up lawsuit against Kelly. What did she file a lawsuit for? She said Kelly was stalking her and going to murder her. This bogus lawsuit dragged out for over a year, but everything changed when a phone call was made. An anonymous caller called in and said they saw Kelly driving erratically. They were concerned she might be using substances and could potentially hurt someone on the school grounds. So authorities went and checked Kelly's car. They found a massive amount of illegal substances. Like a whole lot. But surveillance footage showed that it was Jill who had planted them in Kelly's car. And Jill's DNA was all over the paraphernalia. Jill was arrested and put in jail for a few months. And then Kelly sued her for millions of dollars. And she won. All because of the weirdest misunderstanding at a PTA meeting. Was that petty or what?